Hi, the SI Meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Wednesday, August 8th. Quite a bit more humid this morning compared to yesterday morning here in the Mid-Atlantic region. In fact, in southeastern Pennsylvania, there's some patchy ground fog that will dissipate over the next hour or two, but it's indicative of a change in the air mass. A warm front has moved into the region. It's really the frontal system that came through as a cold front the other night, has stalled down along the southeast coast, and now turn around and is moving northward as a warm front. We'll be very warm and humid, not only today, but for the next couple of days, with a potential heavy rain, severe weather event later Friday into the early part of the weekend. And we'll get into that in a moment. First, let's get an update on Ernesto. And here is a morning colorized infrared image of Ernesto. Right here is the center of Ernesto, which was a hurricane when it made landfall. Here's the outline of the Yucatan Peninsula way down here. And it made landfall uh, later last night into the early part of this morning as a hurricane. Now here's the country of Belize. Of course, some heavy rain and strong winds there. It has weakened already into tropical storm status. We'll continue moving westward across the peninsula, then reemerge out over the water, but only to then make landfall again in central Mexico. So it looks like uh, the U.S. will be spared from this particular storm. Again, it is now a tropical storm. It did come ashore as a hurricane late last night. Meanwhile, Florence is out in the central Atlantic still, still in a weakened state, tropical depression state. We'll continue to monitor that over the next few days. Here's a much broader satellite view. This is an infrared satellite loop of the entire uh, U.S., the continental U.S. Here's uh, the remains of Hurricane Ernesto, now tropical storm over the Yucatan Peninsula. Still looks rather well formed, spiraling westward, and again, it'll reemerge out over the water of the southern Gulf of Mexico and then slam into central Mexico uh, within the next couple of days. Probably by Friday or so, this will be completely dissipated as it'll hit mountainous regions of the country of Mexico. Meanwhile, here along the east coast, quite a few high clouds once again this morning, kind of like yesterday morning, associated with an upper level jet streak. So there'll be quite a few high clouds for the next several hours, right from D.C. up across uh, the I-95 corridor all the way up to the New York City region. That could limit afternoon temperatures by a couple of degrees, but it'll be rather humid again today and rather warm with temperatures approaching the upper 80s or near 90 degrees in many mid-Atlantic locations. Meanwhile, very hot weather now has shifted somewhat from the center part of the country to the interior west. It could be very hot in the inland sections of California over the next few days as that hot weather has shifted westward somewhat. In fact, we'll take a look right now at the latest 6 to 10 day temperature forecast by the NOAA forecasters. And again, they have the much above normal now uh, temperatures now centered over the southwestern U.S. Over the last several weeks, it's been centered right in this region right here, but the upper level ridge has shifted to the west, and that is pr uh, promoting quite a bit of heating all the way to California. And we'll hear a, a lot about triple digits in the inland sections of the interior west over the next several days. Well, let's kind of begin to focus now on the late week event here in the mid-Atlantic region. It's quite an interesting event because we'll have a very strong upper level trough for this time of the year uh, that sets off a red flag in that it could lead to some severe weather and in this case that would be later Friday into Saturday here in the mid-Atlantic region. Right now again we have this weak frontal system that came through the other night as a cool front. It has turned around and headed north as a warm front right now and the humidity has returned to southeastern Pennsylvania and it will return later on today to the New York City region after a one-day respite. Yesterday, dew points did drop considerably, noticeably, from, let's say, Pennsylvania, New, Jer New Jersey, points north and east. Meanwhile, another frontal system, a cool frontal system, is currently located over the upper part of the Midwest. That will really take several days to pass through the mid-Atlantic region. It'll wait for that upper-level trough. A reinforcing shot of cooler air will finally come in. And it'll take quite a while for this front to actually clear the coast. In fact, I don't expect genuine clearing in the Mid-Atlantic region until about Sunday. And again, Friday and Saturday pose the possibility of some heavy rain and severe weather right along the I-95 corridor as that deep upper-level trough heads into the northeastern part of the country. 
In fact, let's kind of focus in on that upper level trough. This is the 500 millibar computer forecast map from the NAM model, the North American Mesoscale model. Last night, 0Z run for Thursday night. And this is kind of the key player here, this strong upper level disturbance here. This is the middle part of the atmosphere, about 18,000 feet or so up in the atmosphere, 500 millibars. And at this time, this is dropping southeastward from south central Canada, swinging its, its way through the Great Lakes region, the upper Ohio Valley. And again, this is Thursday night. Now let's jump ahead to Friday night. And here it is Friday night, and that upper level trough is now right over the Ohio Valley. Again, it dropped in this fashion here, and it will take its time to clear the East Coast, and that will prevent genuine clearing to occur until the latter part of the week and probably Sunday. And when you see this kind of an upper level trough, it indicates a lot of cooling in the upper part of the atmosphere. And this time of the year, still in the middle part of the summer, that can de really destabilize the atmosphere with the very warm ground level conditions combined with that cooling in the upper atmosphere could lead to some strong thunderstorm activity. And indeed, that looks like that's coming to the mid-Atlantic region from later Friday into Saturday. So again, the threat continues for some heavy rain and strong thunderstorm activity on Friday and Saturday. And Thursday, we'll see some scattered showers and storms as well in the mid-Atlantic region. Meanwhile, upper level high pressure now shifted west from the center part of the country all the way into the interior west, and they will bake from Colorado to California over the next several days. Well, that's it for now. We'll continue to monitor this, both the tropical situation and the potential heavy rain and severe weather event in the mid-Atlantic region on Friday into Saturday over the next couple of days. For the SIWeather.com, I'm the SI Meteorology.